so so this is a three model of the Dutch brown from the 15 to 100 and we already do the plan part convert for them and you see just the uh, owner we already do the plan part convert like this for just uh, 15 and this is uh, the 100 okay so we back to the uh, plan spike editor and open the Dean Brown catalog okay and in the uh, catalog editor we choose a catalog editor and create new one and choose a custom and choose a message and choose a vow here and this is a vow okay so this is a t-check vow okay so uh, this is a very important it's a primary anti right and we choose the for here but uh, we have uh, some kind of the anti here and in the next video I will show you I will explain to you uh, uh, one by one okay so in this video we choose a uh, WF uh, stand for the wafer connection okay and we choose a sign here from the 15 to 100 okay so number of connection port we should be choose as two okay and create new one yeah and remember that the vowel uh, our vowel will, will have uh, uh, two port of um, same property and we take we click here to choose okay this one no need to write okay just facing we should be choose b1 and pressure class click the property okay so do you want to over override okay we click to that and pressure pressure class about the 16 okay and schedule the 40 and you see just the long description family name this is the uh, content what you want to show in the iso drawing and in the next video where i will uh, do more uh, about that okay so in this video we put the deep check valve and pn16 okay so to check out okay number connection port yeah and two of uh, the uh, content here is more important than iso support iso symbol tie and iso symbol ski okay this is valve because if you if you don't if you don't put the information here we cannot make the iso ring uh, as we want okay so iso support sim I saw symbol ski and we check about here. Uh, sorry, in here. Uh, sorry. Yeah. This is a check valve, right? And ski. You see that? It is ski. Ski of the block. Of the block. Okay. And we put the CKFL. Okay. Yeah and we go into the side and remove some side not used as standard okay no we check again Shit, no okay 15 20 25 32 40 50 65 80 and 100 okay yeah and select model here and go back to the yeah and to check out here and catalog here yeah that's a 15 okay also 20 okay and 25 and 32 and 40 40 here 50 50 here and 65 okay 80 
Okay, and 100. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to the show, show the advanced table. Okay. We click to choose the own port have same property. Okay. So this side, I want to copy here. And go in here. And we choose as the CN fifteen, okay. And do copy for the own. Okay, and modify it. That's a twenty. And it is twenty five. It is a thirty two. 40 50 65 80 and 100 okay so going to here so you know that's the required we need to be uh, add the information here if no we cannot uh, save to catalog okay so this is a 15 and the matching file about the uh 21.3 okay okay and okay yeah we finish and we save to catalog Yeah, and we're back here. You see that? Okay, we finish and we save. Save all here. Okay, glow and back to plan 3D. And open tomorrow. Okay, so I'll modelize it, right? And we go into the uh, pie spike, okay. And choose the pie spike. That's the uh, yeah, right. And edit, okay. Okay, in the edit spike, we will add the uh, uh, detect round to this spike, okay. So this side. Uh, from the okay and we choose the B1 here that's the arrow bar here and click to add to spike you see okay okay and save okay yeah and in this and in this plan 3D we click to space view and click the valve here for example I want to add the valve here 100 here and I go adding here you see yeah yeah you see that this is a wafer tie in plan 3d and we can we can do it for the butterfly valve also butterfly valve also will connect with the uh, will be connect by the wafer in the piping line okay so thanks for watching and see you in the next video